good morning and welcome back to Adelaide. It is about uh, five in the morning and I'm at a place called the Original Pancake uh, Kitchen and I'm um, getting a pretty big breakfast because today is the day that I start my six day journey from Adelaide to Alice Springs through the outback to see some incredible landscapes here in Australia. But I need to get a good breakfast and I've got some coffee as well. Um, I've got a 6.30 departure time with the, the tour company, so that's why I'm here so early. Um, this is a 24-hour place, luckily, so it's going to be a good morning. Alright, now that I've had a good breakfast, it is time to get a shower, get packed, and get on the road out to the Outback. 6.30 a.m. sharp, and we are loading the bus up to head out. Our tour guide has given us an old 160 gig iPod to change the music for all of our tastes, which I don't know how good that's actually going to come out because there's going to be some weird music choices, I think. The sinister grin that he just gave me ensures that he's had weird playlists before. We've stepped about an hour or two out of uh, Adelaide in a place called Clare, which is the Clare Valley that some of you might know as uh, the wine part of the wine country here in Australia. And um, yeah, we're just gonna get some snacks and stuff like that. I need to get a sleeping bag. Uh, as we start getting more into the outback, it's gonna get a lot more expensive to find uh, water, beer, um, food, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna stock up here. And uh, no, we're not doing any wine tastings because we don't really have time. Today we've got to cover, I think he said 600 uh, kilometers, so in the next few days we're going to cover 2,000 kilometers. Our tour guide on this trip is Craig, who is actually a friend of Mark, who was the tour guide on our last trip from uh, Melbourne to Adelaide. So uh, it's going to be pretty fun. He seems like a pretty fun guy. And he did happen to mention that we're going to be covering just about as much ground in uh, one day on this trip as we did in three on the last. So I've come to this shop called Cheap as Chips to find a sleeping bag. So this store has two sleeping bags left for $20. It's better to buy than rent for the same amount of money. I paid the same price to buy a sleeping bag as I would to uh, rent one from the tour company which I may get some more use out of it or be able to just sell it for a little bit less than I bought it for uh, in Perth so it might be worth it. Craig has got all of our food and we're just emptying the trailer now to get everything situated correctly, which might take a while. We're gonna do the short straw of being on the roof here to tie down all of the stuff with ratchet straps. So we've stopped here for lunch, pulled everything out of the trailer, and we're gonna make bush banh mi, which is uh, hot hug buns with banh mi style like the Vietnamese sandwich. Hot dog bun bun me. got done with lunch we came out to Alligator Gorge to do a little 45 minute hike through an old dry riverbed. Watching out for snakes and kangaroos and wallaroos on the way. So tomorrow the Vegemite game starts. So tomorrow the fun time starts. So tomorrow if we do language on the bus or family time because this is the only time you guys are really close together is family time, meal times and bus times. We have a spoon and a jar of Vegemite. And we call it a punishment. Because it's fun for us and a punishment for you. <laughs> it's really quite good fun. I would like to choose Kristen. You know, and she could be my buddy. So if she was to speak Swedish to another Swedish person on board. You know, 
then I'd have to eat Vegemite the same as she would. Um, snake talk. So guys, this is perfect weather for snakes. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. Snakes don't actually like hot weather. What snakes do like is shadows behind hot rocks in the warm days. <laughs> or if it's a little bit cooler, <laughs> yeah. When you lay on the beach when you're sunbathing and you lay on the beach with no towel, hot sand, you get burnt stomach. It's not very nice. Snakes, when they're going across the ground on hot ground, get a burnt stomach as well. So if you find a snake out in the open on a hot day, you can actually kill it by looking at it. If you look at it long enough and you make it look back at you long enough, it will die in front of you. You have cooked its guts. How long does it take? Not all that long on a really hot day. since Sheila and I are the photographers of the group, they have kind of left us behind. Uh, we're the slow ones today for sure. Now it's toward the end of the day and we have arrived in a town called Corn. No relation to the food, uh, but we are staying at a place called the Flinders Range Motel. And it's actually um, the old mill of this town, so it's kind of a historical building as well. But we're going to get everything cooking now. We're going to make some supper, hang out, maybe get some uh, cool shots of the, the town around here. And then we're going to get up early tomorrow and uh, head out. We've got a long ways to drive tomorrow. A fearless cook. Yeah. This has been on too long and that pasta should have been on 10 minutes ago. Come here. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Think like you got it, okay? Keep thinking like you got it. What's that like? Really? <laughs> yeah, it is. Stop! Oh, yeah, your lens is so close, you can almost taste it. Yeah. <laughs> you can smell it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, stay tuned. I still have five more days left on my Uluru trip up to Alice Springs. You can check out some of my other social media links below and some of my previous videos to the side. If you think I deserved it, please click the like and subscribe below. It does help out my channel. Again, thank you very much and safe travels.